All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, T-minus 11 hours, I'll be going to participate in the Leone Divide 50K, 50-mile 50 race. We'll just take a look at the course info here. Uh, I guess it's on the Pacific Crest Trail here in Los Angeles, California. Uh, for the 50 miles, there's going to be multiple aid stations, places where I can drop my bags. And uh, yeah, these aid stations are going to keep me fueled and mu moving the entire whatever, 11, 12, 13, 14 hours, whatever it takes for me to finish this race. I know there are cutoff times, so I'm going to have to haul ass. And boom. Here is the course. <laughs> I've never actually done uh, a mountain race of any sort in my life. I've only, I'm only used to walking miles on the road. And there you go. Leone Divide, 50 mile. This will be my course right here. I have no idea what to expect, to be honest, uh, but I feel since January 15th, I'm about to surpass 1,000 miles of walking, and I feel that mentally, I'm at least mentally and physically capable of attempting something like this. So I don't know what to expect. I'm going to learn as I go. I'm excited. All right. What we have here is everything that I'm going to need. Uh, a lot of bread and carbs. I'm about to house down all this pasta. Boom. I'll be wearing that on my back. That is filled with all the proper things I need. An extra shirt, uh, socks, what have you. There's extra shirt, shoes, and socks in that bag. There's food. There's a cliff bars. And I have this bag for another drop. All that stuff. All that shit. There's just a whole lot of shit, but it's actually pretty simple. And as long as I stick to my game plan and ignore everybody else at this race, I think there's going to be 150 different people at this race. And I need to just run my race. And everything is in these bags specifically organized for when I'm going to need them at certain points uh, after certain miles and whatnot. So... I'm sweating. All right, it's uh, 5.30, 5.32. Just got here, and uh, it's a windy, dark road to get up this uh, to this hill where the starting line is, and this asshole in a truck was fucking tailgating me. So I, I veered off to the side of the road and the dirt and the rocks, and then immediately just gassed it on the dirt and the rocks and was spewing everything everywhere. And then I tailgated him for the next five miles. Did I waste energy doing that and take away my focus from the race? Absolutely. So, whatever you do, kids, don't tailgate a jerk-off fuckface. Alright, here we go. I'll check in every five miles. Uh, I got this all day long. 50 miles, the only divide. Stop talking. Let's focus. Let's do this. It's gonna be a long fucking day. Oh boy, I did not take into account those. I'm just gonna run my game. That's it, nothing else matters, I got this. Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Ah! I'm in the middle of a goddamn mountain, excuse my language. You wanna know what I'm doing right now? I'm power walking. Four miles up a fucking mountain. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I'm still on a four mile incline. Uh, I'm just, I'm not gonna kill myself here, so. All right, let's do this. About 12 miles in. I feel, I feel like I'm in the sound of music right now. The hills are alive. The sound of music. Even, there is no fucking music.
That looks like a giant comforter for your bed. All right, uh, we're about 19 miles in. I just barely made the cutoff point there. I have to haul ass. I have about two and a half hours left to get to this next checkpoint. So uh, I'm trying to haul ass. And you know what? I don't want to fall off the mountain here. So uh, definitely a tough race. Definitely a tough race. Uh, running on the sidewalk is different than running on a fucking hill. Mountain. Uh, lesson learned. Lesson learned. I'm right here in the middle of the mountains. I can't feel my legs. And we're, we're stuck here taking a little break because of that thing. Well, I don't want to alarm him or her. Yeah. I, I also do not want to alarm a giant looking snake. So it's a good resting point. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh. Well, 25 and a half miles in, and I did not make the cut. Oh, see that? See all those rocks? I just ran down them, and they were jagging my feet. I just said jagging. I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm 25 and a half miles in. Uh, unfortunately, I did not make the cut for the 50 miles, so I will finish and get credit for it. 50k 31.2 mile race this is insane i uh i've never run a race in the mountains it is insane i give respect where respect is due so there you go finish strong isn't that lovely holy shit uh, um, yeah, again, 34 miles in. I only get credit for 31.2, I believe. And uh, I see a fucking parking lot. Yes. Yes. Oh, thank Christ. Oh, there's God. I would have to say that I am never, ever going to underestimate a, a mountain race ever again. Oh, sweet leaves, Jesus. I can't even speak right now. I just want to get to the cars and go home. Okay, let's just end it. All right. Uh, I, I crossed the finish line. I, I, again, I was just so focused. This guy would stop cutting the grace. This is going to be a challenge. My overall thoughts about the Leonia Divide race 50, 50 mile race uh, i signed up for the 50 mile race and I, I did see on the graphic that there were mountains and uh the thing that i that, that made the mistake there is i underestimated climbing up mountains and uh yeah without a doubt and i i i, I did a total of 35 and a half miles in about 11 hours and 22 minutes is what it said on the official uh, finish line timer and uh, yeah I didn't I didn't make the um, cutoff time to complete the 50 miles so I just got 35 and a half can't feel my legs and without a doubt without a doubt I'd oh it's a tough race tough race if you have hills you gotta consistently fuel your body I had the the staff and everybody were great they were filling my uh this thing we're filling this up with ice and water what have you i'm trying to recap and it's just the words aren't coming out of my mouth properly so uh i don't think i came in dead last my uh come down the stretch climbing up hills uh, my legs actually pulled through and i beat this girl this very nice girl so i do not come in last at least by one Fuck yeah. Okay, for the naysayers out there, um, I track all my progress on the app Nike Plus. If you'd like to follow me on my progress, my name is Kevin Space and then Beast. Yeah, basically, this is it. This is the course. These are all the miles that I did. 
I did 35.5 miles in 10 hours and 21 minutes, 27 seconds, according to my calculations. And I guess I can add in about 40, 50 minutes of rest. But for the most part, I was focused on keeping my legs moving the entire time. And uh, I just, I had my eyes on that finish line. Yeah, it was just overall a, a good event, even though I didn't uh, accomplish what I set out to. I, I would say, I would say slow trotting, running, and walking up mountains for the past 11 and a half hours may technically be the most difficult thing physically that I've done in my life. So uh, at least I now know how to do a race in the mountains. You always got to take the positives away. It's gonna be a long day. I look like an Oompa Loompa.